I welcome the opportunity to say a few words in relation to this. And I think the background is always very helpful. And when we talk about droves of people coming into the country, that is not accurate. We have a total of just under 26,000 in direct provision. And I hope I have a chance to come back to the inhuman, unacceptable direct provision that we were supposed to finish a long time ago. Of those 26,000, there's a shocking figure who have got refugee status and have no place to go. And that figure is almost 6,000 of those, 5,000 plus, with refugee status who can't leave direct provision. Now, if we can't cope with 26,000 under our international obligations, there's something seriously wrong, and there is. And we set up a direct provision centre in, as a temporary measure back in 2000. I come back to the Ukrainians in a minute, who are not here as asylum seekers, but are here under a temporary protection system. And that in itself has been unacceptable to distinguish between different type of asylum seekers. And I deplore the language that's been used in relation to droves coming in, our vetting, our young men being dangerous, absolutely deplore it. I do share the concerns in relation to the problems experienced by communities in terms of hotels being taken and not enough services. But instead of turning on vulnerable people, and asylum seekers are the most vulnerable people who are fleeing persecution and fleeing violations of human rights and seeking asylum in our country. To equate that with dangerous people is most unacceptable. And I would ask those that are doing that to stop and join with us in fighting and pressurizing the government to provide services for rural areas, to stop taking over hotels indeed and depriving communities of the use of them, but not in the manner that's been done. Since 2018, there have been at least 12 suspected arson attacks, most unacceptable, one of them on New Year's Eve, and a protest in Galway before Christmas that was unacceptable, what horrible language used that the inn was full. None of that is acceptable to me. And if we look at the background to someone coming here seeking asylum in a, in a world where 28,892 people, and they're the figures we know, have died, in the Mediterranean. 3,041 went missing this last year alone in the Mediterranean. The UNHCR said 110 million people were displaced worldwide. 43.3 million of them were children. And so on, the figures are just astronomical and going to get worse because we're looking on a world that looks at war as a way of solving problems when it's creating problems, not to mention climate change. The direct provision started in 1999-2000. We've had any amount of reports telling us, please stop this, this is not fit for purpose. This is just isolating people and leaving it open for hate language. McMahon report was 2015, Minister. I don't know how many of those recommendations were, were ever implemented. He did his best. The Catherine Day's report was published in October 20, followed by a, a white paper, and fair play to you, to end direct, direct provision. Hasn't happened. We made that commitment well before the in illegal invasion of Ukraine by Russia, but nothing happened. We were to stop the obscene profits being made on the private provision of accommodation for vulnerable people. We didn't do that. The government failed to do what they said they would do, which was stop direct provision, build non-for-profit centres, and have a system parallel with that that very swiftly dealt with those seeking asylum and dealing with that. We didn't do that either. What we did do, of course, was to uh, uh, open doors to people fleeing from the illegal war in the Ukraine, but we created a two-tier system that's simply unacceptable to me. And, we and today, and I agree with Deputy McGrath in relation to this, there is no written speech before us setting out the facts. There is no written speech from the senior minister who spoke first, setting out the facts and figures so that we can work with you. Now, a time for when direct provision will be finished. None of that has been done today. People speaking off the top of their head. And then we have, the, for example, the Afghan admissions programme. Very few people taken from Afghanistan, even though the horror has been five, six hundred maximum. And, and I understand the application is now closed. But, okay. 
well, I, I've only a few minutes and I'd love to talk to you about this. I appreciate your work, but unfortunately, you haven't ended direct provision. And this government has presided over mixed messages in relation to our approach to asylum seekers in every possible way, creating a two-tier system, pitting communities against each other, and all inconsistent, not too far from this august establishment, there's a hotel that's empty for five, six, seven years. I stayed there when I came first. No explanation as to why that's never been used, or indeed other premises. So I, compl you I understand you're under pressure, but a complete inconsistency. Thank you.